have our eight ounces of mini farfalle in rapid boiling water that was heavily salted for eight minutes and now we're gonna drain it. So I'm gonna pour it into our strainer and cool it under running cold water. Make sure you cool off your pasta so it doesn't continue to cook. You want it a little al dente. So that way it holds up to the pesto. And then once it's cooled off, I'm gonna drain it. And then I prefer to hold it in the pot that I was just cooking it in. And I add a little olive oil to it so it doesn't stick together. Subscribe to Chef Victoria Loeb's YouTube channel so we can continue bringing you more videos. Thanks. So I'm just adding like a tablespoon of olive oil. And then, just, sorry, it's kind of heavy to hold with one hand and the camera with the other. And then just stir together so that the olive oil coats all of your pasta and doesn't get sticky. So we're just doing a small batch to test out our recipe. So we're creating a mini farfalle pesto pasta salad for a catering event. So this is gonna be a um, vegetarian option for our luncheon. And we wanna test out the recipe first of all, but then we wanna figure out how many portions that we need to make. So we always wanna get everything by weight and write it down. So we're gonna do eight, our eight ounces of our cooked mini farfalle pasta. We're gonna add a half a cup of our nut-free basil spinach pesto, or you can add in traditional pesto or uh, basil spinach arugula pesto. Those are all videos I have on my uh, channel, so check out the recipes in those videos. And then we're just gonna stir this together. Now I like an ample amount of pesto on my pasta. I hate getting pasta salad from, let's say a, a deli with a salad bar, or even, you know, some prepackaged ones that are made in grocery stores or even fine food places. And there's barely any pesto on the pasta. It's so disappointing. So half a cup for this amount of pasta is a good ample amount. If you want to do more, go right ahead. But for our catering event, that's how much we're going to use. And to it, I'm going to add a quarter cup of finely diced white onion. And we're going to slice our grape tomatoes in half. We're going to add three ounces of grape tomatoes. There's our onions. We're going to fold all of that together, mix it in, and then we're going to add our baby ball mozzarella. I got these baby mozzarella balls at the grocery store and this, this is all they had, unfortunately, but um, I would prefer it not to be marinated and just have the pesto on it, but this is fine. If you're doing it for a buffet and you're gonna have it in a bowl, you might wanna leave these balls whole so it looks really pretty, but since we're doing these as individual servings in small containers, I'm gonna cut them up. So we're gonna cut these up and then add it. So we're gonna stir this all together. And when we are serving it, we're gonna have it in these little containers. So I've gotta figure out how much I wanna put into this little container. We're gonna have eight ounces per container, and then we wanna garnish it. So I'll add a sprig of basil at the top. And remember when I said to save your lemon zest whenever you're making your pasta and before you squeeze your lemon? So we wanna sprinkle just a little bit of that lemon zest over the top that will give the salad a real brightness that you'd love. And on top of it as well, we are gonna add some of our sun-dried tomatoes that we made. That's another video on our YouTube channel to check it out. These are sun-dried tomatoes that we stored in olive oil. And we're gonna put that on top as a garnish as well. Here's our finished container. And now we actually have to make 20 of these. So we gotta do a little math. We've gotta figure out how much we need to make in order to do 20 servings of this. So it's an eight ounce portion, and we're making 20 of them. So we gotta write that down. Our batch was 29 ounces, so you're gonna divide 29 by eight. So 29 divided by eight equals 3.62 portions per batch. We need 20, 20 divided by 3.62, means we need to make 5.52 batches, so basically six times. So we're gonna do this recipe six times in order to make 20 of our containers for our catering event. So I hope this inspires you to make it at home if you're catering or if it's a birthday party or just uh, afternoon lunch. It's a wonderful recipe, it's delightful, and I hope you enjoy it.
recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Loves YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.